Yeah. Alright, ladies and gents, welcome aboard. Alright, let's find out. Where's my seat? So when you come into UK, you have to fill the form. You have to provide all your details. Because you'll be like just taking track later on. Alright, let's get on the train now. I'm from Belgium, Netherlands, and all that. So, I'm just two weeks of travelling. I managed to do it in two weeks. Right, so, so the COVID situation, crumbled the whole world, and that's the situation we are living at. Alright, day like this, E, I've thought about. Right, there's nothing happening right now here. Look, just me, look. I'm gonna play my game. Yeah, I've got the whole album <laughs> just on my side. I'm bored. What to do? Let the journey begin. Right, so this is the next bus. As you can see, it's 815 goes to London. Right, Brussels. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed. This sister is bang on time. And I've got a really good seat as well. But I haven't got much mem memory card left, so I try to catch the, as much as I can. Right, so what's my seat number? From Colin to London, 2A. Further. Right, ladies and gents, welcome aboard. Right, let's find out. Where's my seat? 2A. Must be this one. That's it. That's what the situation is. So anyone who's coming come from any part of the EU, so you have to like, fill the form online. So it makes it a lot easier to like, fill up the form well in advance, so you're not like, going to leave it to the last minute. And that's it. And then, unfortunately, you have to go through the two weeks quarantine as well, regardless what country you're coming from. Because the COVID situation is getting really bad in the UK and across Europe as well. But so we are in Calais at the moment. Some of the passengers out there in the office getting their passport checked and controlled. And we're back on the on the road and soon that probably get in the boat. 
Yeah, I'm tired. I just need to go home. Get me home, someone! Alright, catch up later. Yeah, that was the border crossing from the UK side. So now, on this side of the UK border, again on the ship, on the boat, and that's it, it's all done. It's been a long two weeks of like backpacking. It's been madness, man. And the uh, restriction in terms of like COVID-19, it's quite strict. So when you come into the UK, you have to fill the form, you have to like, provide all your details because you'll be like the trace and track later on. So yeah, traveling is it's definitely not easy nowadays. And I don't, I don't think it's really worth it unless you, you do you have to travel. So yeah, all right, that's the update. Finally, after two crazy weeks of backpacking. Madness. Back in town. Well, I've got lots of, I've got lots to say. About, about this crazy two weeks of traveling. It was unexpected, but obviously because of the COVID situation, I've been at home, bored. I haven't tra traveled for quite a long time. So, it was just about the right time before the weather, you know, gets really cold and miserable. Um, I've been wearing this kind of shirt the last two weeks and I feel absolutely fine. I'm back here in the UK and back to London and guess what? It is a bit nippy, it's a bit cold. Right, so the plan, so the plan was to go around Europe, do a bit of a mini European tour and it started from London, uh, then it went to Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia, Hungary, uh, Slovakia, and then, and where was it? And the Czech Republic, and then from Czech Republic to Germany and from Germany to France, from Belgium, Netherlands, and all that. So, it was two weeks of travelling. I managed to do it in two weeks. It was tiring. It was definitely by no means, it was sort of like a relaxed holiday or anything. It was just a travel to assess the situation across Europe, see what is the COVID situation, and how different countries are dealing with it and that was it
So, as I've heard my observation about the situation across Europe, to be honest, like my assessment of the COVID situation across Europe has exactly been the same as it is like in the UK. So people observing it, obviously going on holiday, it's not the same as it was before. It's not as pleasant as it was before. We got lots, a lot changed. So, therefore, I decided to take you guys on a little adventure across Europe to witness and assess the current COVID situation to see what we, as a traveller, are going to go through and to find out what it doesn't really work for like travelling this time. The, the most important question, is it safe to travel at this time? So I suppose the only, to, the only way to find out is to come along and join me and hopefully we will find out. Good morning from London and Luton Airport. Let the journey begin. picture for the landmark of the city center Timisura yeah it looks quite cool and pretty the people that socialize and sit together but what? right what are you saying <laughs> right there you go she's like a local lady Right, yeah, I'll come back a bit later on for drinks, yeah? Thank you. We'll see what happens. Uh, I must say, I've got only 20% 20, 20 of factory left. That's all I've got. I've got about 25% of battery left. And then, the battery will be gone. That means, I need to come back. And we my back. Right, look, guys, look at the uh, Romanian rugby team. Uh, play, play, playing rugby, football like a professional rugby in a hotel corridor. <laughs> What's your name, I'm friend? Christian. Christian, there you go. Christian, I'm going to get you served. And these two good looking boys. <laughs> so, yeah, come to Varna. Party's still going on till the 19th of September, right, everyone? Yeah. There, there you go. Party's banging on. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, but I'm just doing a bit of walk. Yeah, yeah. Nice. What's your name? Uh, Fidel. What? Fidel. What's your name? Fidel. De Castro. Oh, Fidel Castro. Right. Yeah. I thought I thought you said your name, Fidel boy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one on the house, yeah. So hello. No, that was because you were cutting me so Okay, hello. My name is Nadia. <laughs> I'm Envious. 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 Vivi. We we no. uh, we from Ukraine and we eat McDonald's <laughs> on 5 a.m. It's a best time in Bulgaria. Yeah. <laughs> 
Really? Maladies, maladies. <laughs> Every journey must come to an end. And so does this journey. Not sure if you know this, but when we first met, I got so nervous, I couldn't speak. It's been fun, it's been a pleasure meeting you again, Prague, the beautiful city. German style. No, I'll gonna do it. Right, I feel push up, yeah? A few push up. Just for the fact I failed. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whoa. I think that's enough. Right, I'll put, there you go. I'll pay my attribution and respect to the Irish. Right, you deserve it, man. You are cool. Peace and love.